Hi guys and welcome back to Libra. I am Jillian and in today's video I would like to share with you a few simple yet effective winter self-care tips and tricks that you can implement into your everyday life in order to overcome the winter blues. If you do not have the winter blues and are just looking for some fun ideas to pamper yourself with and to treat yourself to, then this is the video for you as well. So please enjoy watching. confess that the past six weeks or so I have struggled a little bit to get up and going and be motivated and normally I love winter and usually I'm a very positive person who sees challenges as an opportunity and is always motivated to do more and to learn more but as of late, I have just really felt the winter blues. And I thought to myself, I don't like that. I need to change something about it. It really bothered me. So I went online and did some research on why it is that I actually felt that way and how I can overcome this winter blues and, you know, just with some easy, fun, simple tricks that will help me to feel much better and more energized and well rested and not so sluggish and tired anymore. Now let us be clear that in this video I am not talking about the very severe winter depression that a lot of people experience and suffer from. I am not a specialist in this field, I am not a doctor, I am not a psychologist. So if you feel that your winter blues is a little bit more than just a little winter blues but actually a real depression then please go and seek the help of your physician now if you guys know me a little bit already you know that i always like to ask why things are the way they are why they have an impact on us or make us behave in a certain way and what is going on in our body and in our brain then and of course that's why i also had to do some research on why we actually suffer from the winter blues. So here comes the explanation. Winter is the cold wet season in which the days are shortest and darkest because there are all the clouds hanging in the sky and the sun is so low that the sunlight does not hit the face of this earth for very long and also not very intensely and thus also does not shine on our beautiful faces so long either. And we have to turn on the radiator so our the indoor climate is rather dry, it dries up our skin, it dries up our eyes and it makes our hair kind of frizzy and just blah and we feel like a walking marshmallow because of all the layers of clothes that we're wearing and it's not very comfortable you're not able to walk freely and it just feels a little weird at times so despite all the christmas spirit and the fun outdoor activities and indoor activities that we can enjoy during the winter season we find ourselves in a kind of a love-hate relationship with Father Frost because he can drain the energy out of us like crazy. We feel tired, we feel lazy, kind of sluggish and unmotivated to get up and going and do something. We find ourselves in a bad mood more often and function on a very low level of energy but also of courage. Most often it is the uh, lack of light that comes with the shorter and darker days and with the long thick clothes that we have to wear that are responsible or that is responsible for our state. In winter the body distributes the hormone melatonin a lot more and melatonin is crucial for our day-night rhythm and for our sleep. And in order to be able to produce melatonin, the body needs the amino acid tryptophan. Tryptophan, however, is also used to produce the hormone serotonin. And serotonin is responsible for inner balance and for positivity. If, however, tryptophan is used up in a bigger amount for melatonin because of the shorter and darker days that we have in winter, then there is a lack of amount of tryptophan that we can use or our body can use to produce serotonin, the hormone that is important for inner balance and for positivity. And hence the bad mood and the overall more negative mindset during the winter season. So you might now be like, oh great, there's nothing I can do about it because it's just 
my body functioning the way it is and it's just those weird chemical reactions that are going on in my body and I can do nothing about it that is actually not quite true because here are actually some fun ways out of this most obvious of course go outside go leave the house go on a walk either alone or with friends and family whichever way you prefer and whichever way is best for you right now during the corona crisis depending on what restrictions you have to live under right now and children actually teach us so much in this respect they need to go out on a daily basis in order to develop properly anyways but when they are out they are just out and about and playing and they do not really get the winter blues at all so you know just enjoying themselves out in the snow and make it a fun experience if however the child or we as the grown-ups too get stuck in the house all day long and just sit in front of the screen or just sit in our room and play or read or whatever it is then they get moody and imbalanced and cranky and it's the same with us so going out of the house helps a lot here especially when you try and go go out during the sunshine hours of these short days going out during the sunshine hours of course is super beneficial for you so maybe you want to implement a morning walk before you go to work or in between work blocks or after lunch or when you have your afternoon low then you just go out and enjoy the sunlight and enjoy the fresh air and move your body in the fresh air and get your metabolism going again and yeah just moving your body in the fresh air activates your energy it strengthens your immune system and if possible you can shift your work hours a little bit here and there so that you can get some extra hours of the sunlight in if you have to work from home now anyways because of corona then you are a little more flexible anyways and can just take advantage of that try to minimize screen time watching tv is a huge time waster anyways i have talked about that in so many of my other videos before and watching tv diminishes our brain activities drastically and leaves us even more tired than before and this is just not what we want to overcome the winter blues when the brain gets bored it also starts to get creative do not deprive your brain of that power and that possibility to get creative when it's bored when you turn on the tv or sit in front of the laptop or in front of your phone then you kind of distract your brain and do not allow it to get creative but when you don't allow it any screen time, then it has to think of something to do in order to overcome that boredom. Another thing that will help you a lot, not just with your winter blues, but every day throughout the year when you need to get going during the day, is to have a daily routine of getting ready in the morning. Like when you're just getting out of the bed and staying in your PJs all day long, well... <laughs> then you're kind of almost ready to fall back into bed again. You just need to brush your teeth again and maybe comb your hair and don't even have to do that all the time. But if you get ready early in the morning and, you know, spruce yourself up a little bit, brush your teeth, comb your hair, put some nice clothes on that you love, then this is a start or a signal for your brain to say, this is the start of the day, I have to get my energy up and going. Plan something nice for the weekend that you can do and that you're looking forward to, preferably outside of the house. Going outside of the house is the most crucial thing to overcome the winter blues. Also, try to turn the lights on inside when you're inside and do not sit in the gloomy candlelight all day long. Rather make that kind of a special ritual for a dinner and the time after dinner like the evening hours that you actually use to unwind and calm down and really get ready for bed this is what helps your body to to understand okay now is the time that i get to slow down but during the other time is where i'm supposed to be up and going and working it always helps to get a good amount of sleep in during the night the average person needs between seven to eight hours of sleep i don't know it's always very individual whatever amount of hours of sleep you need try and get those hours in then your body feels a lot more energized in the morning anyways 
and it does not fall back into that tired state because of the winter season so quickly. What you also have to bear in mind is to accept the as is state of winter. A lot of people have a hard time accepting things that they cannot change and they are always like complaining all day long about it whenever they can, whenever they have the chance to, but complain, complaining drags you down and instead just breathe in, shrug your shoulders, smile and say well it's just the way it is and accept that. Celebrate the season as something special, as something where you can do activities that you normally would not do during let's say spring or summer and yeah that would help you to see that season as something special and something to look forward to. Feeling good in your skin is not just a saying because you have to live in your skin so of course you need to feel good in your skin and with your skin and in winter that can be particularly hard. Um, however there are a few cool things that you can do and really nice and relaxing things that will actually help you to feel good in your skin and your skin to feel good as well. I personally have very dry skin, especially in winter it is horrible and I love to take a milk and honey bath once a week. You can do that more often if you are the kind of person who loves to take baths then do it when, however often you want to but I don't usually like to take baths so much but every now and then I love to sit in a bathtub and just let my skin soak in all the milk and honey to moisturize my skin. Also treat yourself to some really good high quality skincare products and hair products. They really do make a change. You should do that anyways because it is you and it is about you and you are so worth it so make sure you use some skincare and hair products that are really of high quality and will really help you to moisturize your skin and also keep your hair nice and nourished. Yeah. Taking care of your body is a great way to value yourself and not be so moody anymore because you do something that is very good for yourself so you uplift yourself and put yourself on a higher level through that anyways just because you say yes I am just taking care of myself right now. Now these were some ideas that might come in handy if the winter blues knocked you down or you feel so bothered by winter that you're just like I need to do something more fun and to me it is always very helpful and soothing when I know why things are the way they are. So to understand why my body reacts in a certain way and that it's not my surrounding, not my environment, not the people that I live with or my work that is just draining my energy, but it is something that is just naturally happening during that season. But it's also important to know how you can get out of it and how you have to deal with it and how you can deal with it. That is it for today's video. Comment down below if the winter blues had gotten to you and what you did or probably want to do in order to overcome it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't be too moody to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel in order to get a lot more content on empowerment and how to create a really good life for yourself and how to empower yourself and i will see you next week see you soon bye